Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering one of the most reliable ways to clean up a green screen. We're going to start with a tracker, setting tracks on each of the corners here. We're going to track all of them at the same time. Once done, I'm going to take all of the boxes in this area, create a transform mask right beneath the plate, add a roto node, blur beneath it, set it as a transforms mask template. Set the blur to 6.1, go to the tracker's transform tab, and we're going to copy the translate, rotation, scale, and center animation values. And we're gonna paste them in the Rotos Transform tab at the root level. Do note that I'm pasting as absolute. Once that's done, inside of the Roto node, I'm gonna create this shape. Then, inside of the transform, I'm gonna switch the transform value, in this case, X minus 81. So all that means is that I'm replacing whatever's in the Roto shape with what's on the side. Now, if you play it, you can see we remove the cross. New transform mask, copy the roto blur stack, paste it, use them for masking, connect the roto node to the previous transform mask and tick the replace option. Inside the roto, delete the previous shape and make this one. Then just do the same slide that we did before. I use 76, this is the result. Go to frame 178, animate the mix of the transform and set it to zero. Go to the next frame and set it to one. We're gonna repeat this transform mask process again five more times so now that you've seen the process you should be able to do the next ones on your own there isn't anything different here you still have to animate the mix play with the translate and set up a roto shape once the intersecting markers have been removed we can move on to patching next up add a merge node to the main pipe create a frame hold set to 174 add a roto node create this shape pre it, add a transform now at frame 174 I'm going to start animating the translate all the way till frame 181 by using the numpad keys. And I'm guiding myself here by comparing the plate and the result that I have. With that completed, now I'm going to add a corner pin on top of the transform. I'm going to cancel the corner pin, go to from, adjust all of the points. I'm going to select copy from, reactivate the node. I'm going to start the animation at 174 and I'm going to adjust at 176 and 180. I'm gonna animate the merge mix so that it only displays the patch from frame 174 to 180. Now we're gonna blend in the patch with the plate, create a key mix on the main pipe, create a dot, connect the dot to the plate and the dot to the A input, create a roto node, blur beneath it, connect it to the mask input. Now in the roto node, we're gonna create this shape and we're gonna set the blur to 4.2. Now we're gonna animate the roto shape as so. To blend in the patch with the plate we'll adjust the lifetime of the shape from 175 to 180 and this is our blended result of bob the key mix we're going to create a new frame hold set to frame 190 roto beneath it then pre-mold corner pin and transform merge the stack to the main pipe connect it to the plate and the roto node we're going to set this shape now just like i did for the previous patch I'm going to start animating the transforms translate values from 190 all the way to 198. Once I got a good animation, I'm going to move on to the corner pin. I'm going to do the same setup that I did before, only adjusting where needed. Once I have the corner pin animation set, I'm going to set the limits for the merge mix. And then I'm going to go back to the key mixes roto shape and I'm gonna create this shape. I'm gonna animate it to blend in my patch. And I'll finish off by setting the lifetime where needed. And this is our blended result. Now that you saw the pattern of how I took care of the holes, you're gonna be applying the same logic to all of the other patches. For this one, this one, this one, For this one, for this one, and here's a tricky one for you with the hat. It's the same logic. All you have to do is stack your patches to build up the hat. This is what your result is going to look like. 
I left this area on the hand to be handled a bit differently and that's what we're going to be tackling now. We're going to start with the dot connected to the plate. We're going to add a key mix to the main pipe. Ida Bob Arc Blend Key Mix. We're going to add the same edge extend we've been using in previous lessons. We're going to connect it to the dot. I'm going to grab these rotos that I constructed with the roto setup. If you never used it before, check out this lesson here. Back to the subject. I have my rotos here and I'm going to connect them through a merge and I'm going to set it to screen. I'm going to connect this merge to the mask input of the key mix. Then I'm going to create a clamp. I'm going to connect it to the edge extends math input. I'm going to connect the edge extend to the A input of the key mix and I'm going to connect the clamp to the screen. We're going to remove any semi-transparency from the clamp by doing this. And this is the result. Now, all that's left is to blend in these changes with the plate. And just like before, I'm just going to be animating shapes like this to blend in the result. And that was it. That's how you get to the final result. If you're interested in following along for this tutorial or any other in the channel, I got you covered. Sign up to the email list at learnbfxcomp.com and you'll receive access to all of the files you need for the tutorial including the exact video file I use. Also, you'll be receiving free access to exclusive webinars where I'll be teaching more material to take your skills to the next level. This is a perfect opportunity if you're a beginner or someone wanting to start from scratch, as I'll be guiding you in the process. And one last thing, if you're enjoying the content so far, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.